you guys so today I'm dying my hair again um so this is how my hair looks let's go a little bit more over here where there's light um it's 1 a.m. so that's why I have everything um in dark while well, I'm in the kind of almost in dark but not fully um I just have my kitchen light on so this is how my hair is you can tell which one's the um good die young one and which one is the punky these little parts are the punky and you know the pink is from the good die young one you might hear me you're probably crying a bit because i feel like she just finished her milk um but yeah um so i went to walmart today well yesterday and um there was like a clearance, like so much clearance on, <laughs> there was so much clearance on um, hair dyes. So there was Lime Crime for like $10 clearance from like $16, the little medium jar. I don't know if they have like a bigger jar than that. Um, and then there's like some other ones. If you want to see a little bit more, um, you guys can go to my TikTok. I did do like a little shopping haul in there of what I got. Um, so yeah, one of the stuff I got was this was, I think this is originally like $9, but it was in clearance for three something. So I got one since this is like four ounces. And right now I don't really have a lot of hair. I actually like keep trimming it every time just to give it like more like a slimmer face for me and not go too crazy puffy every time so i just need four ounces uh i left one but apparently this is how your hair turns out i don't know why looking at the purple on the boxes um this is like either do like ombre uh like the ombre or like blush no, this is highlights. This does not look like fucking highlights. No offense. Um, L'Oreal Colorista. Um, and apparently this is the ombre. This is kind of like a really bad ombre. No offense. And the whole hair. This is not really the whole hair. What the fuck? <laughs> but I wanted to try it and make you guys see how this works out. And this is the lavender purple. Now, this looks violet on the box. You know, I've been trying to get violet, not purple. Hopefully, it doesn't go this color. I want this color right here. So, we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm nervous because I don't think I've seen anybody do this color. But it was the only color I saw on clearance. And I'm kind of broke, so... <laughs> Um, I didn't have no choice but to get this one and test it out for you guys since my whole goal is to have purple, violetish, whatever you call it, like very lavender hair. This is my goal is to have lavender hair. So for the whole year, um, maybe I'll quit during my birthday. I'm not sure. Maybe during Christmas time. That's whenever I'll dye it another color. Um, we'll see i don't know what how i'm am gonna do it but my goal is to have purple hair and see my hair grow to have purple hair well violet hair and yeah um i don't really trust this but for scientific reasons we're gonna try it the reason i don't really trust this is because why is this on clearance uh, that's one. <laughs> Most everything that's on clearance is because it doesn't get sell a lot, especially on Walmart. I feel, um, I don't know. Walmart is weird with their clearances, but sometimes they'll be having good deals. I've seen on TikTok how crazy they have good ass deals. Um, then second of all, if you look at these pictures, it doesn't look real. The hair looks very photoshopped, especially her hair. It all, it all looks photoshopped. I know when it comes to like not professional uh, dyes, 
their hair is either a wig or photoshopped and this looks straight up photoshopped this looks like whenever i go to snapchat and use their filter and <laughs> it tells you like oh let's check which color will look good on you or, or you know you edit your hair to be like blonde and all that stuff especially when you go to like the Ulta and you like do the little um, camera lip swatches this is how this whole thing looks she looks photoshop the house <laughs> like rich luck says um i don't know everything looks photoshop like look at the boxes when you go to places like Ulta or Walmart or i think Target has this too if i've seen it there um just look at the boxes. They all look freaking Photoshop. So we're gonna test it out and see how it goes. Okay, wish me luck. I do have like really light strands. So I'm sure it's gonna cover everything. It better be, cause underneath all this is basically lighter than this or this color. So it should come out looking, am I bad? It should come out looking like this. This is the freaking goal. And hopefully this freaking pink goes away. Because I'm disappointed what that goes. And apparently this is like a 4. A rating out of 5. Like a 4.5 I think. Or a 4. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, we're in my bathroom. So... This is how big it looks, which is going to cover my whole hair. It says pi purple violet right here. What the heck? <laughs> and I'm doing a short version of this on YouTube. Not YouTube. Uh, <laughs> TikTok. Sorry, airhead. Oh, it comes with a tiny brush. That is so cute. I guess it's like for highlight, but I don't think we'll use this. This is going to take so long. We're going to go with this one that I have already. And it comes with instructions. Oh my god, why do they take this? I want to see if it comes with like... Oh, it comes with gloves. Nice. Okay. I didn't have to get my own gloves like most guys. Okay, I was, oh, it comes with four pair? Okay, so it comes with like four pair, or what the heck, give me a sec. One, yeah, one, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six, what? It comes with six. Okay, we're keeping these for later on. And we have our instructions, but we basically already know what to do. So let's get started. We're doing all over. Um, we're not doing no highlights. Um, because we want to see results. So yeah, give me a sec. I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> On TikTok. My bowl. And immediately, I'm not mad at it. It looks, huh, I don't know. It's giving, it's giving purple. Um, I'm scared it's gonna get very not violet ish. But it says violet, so. I should be lucky and go, it should look like this for sure, um, darker than that, but yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna apply it in a bit. I put it on a napkin to see how, well, my wipe, <laughs> my face wipe to see how it looks. And it looks, it looks like a nice color. It should, it should really get my hair into that color I want. I hope. Fingers crossed. Also, it smells like, um, kind of like soap. I don't know. It's giving me cleaning supply soap. I don't know. Laundry soap smell <laughs> like really does. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, let's let's just start putting it on our hair. I'm halfway. This is not dyed. This is the punky one. But so far, it's doing a good job on the color. One thing I want to mention, it's that it smells like alcohol. And like rubbing alcohol. Like, I'm not joking. Um, so I'm very concerned. Um, and also, listen to this. Um, I don't mind the color. It actually looks like violet. It's the color it's giving. But it's very concerning that it smells like alcohol. And I don't know. I'm going to read the ingredients whenever I'm waiting for it to be like dried and done. I'm going to probably wait like an hour just to see. And during that hour, I'll do like a live here on YouTube playing Shizu. Mue? She mue? <laughs> Sorry, the game confuses me, but yeah. Um, we'll see how it goes. Done. So, really quick, I want to see if there's like any ingredients. It says colorista semi permanence created with pure direct dyes and conditioning hair mask. No mixing required. No ammonia, no peroxide, vegan formula, no animal derived ingredients or byproducts but the thing is why does it smell like freaking rubbing alcohol <laughs> um so let's leave for 20 to 30 minutes but i'm gonna do an hour i don't know why but <laughs> it's supposed to be conditioning um Apparently, last five to ten shampoos. Um, ingredients. Water. Ceteril alcohol. Ceteril. No, cetyl alcohol. Cydric acid. Chlorine. So it does have alcohol, and maybe that's why it's <laughs> fumaric acid, and it is a bunch of chloride, um, isopropyl alcohol. I don't know how to pronounce everything, but yeah. Take, let me see if I can, I'm trying to focus here. Anyways. It doesn't want to focus, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of alcohol. Come on, focus. There's a lot of alcohol in here if you search up the ingredients, and maybe that's why it smells like that, but yeah. Um, we'll see in an hour and see how all this reacts. I'm kind of nervous just because of the smell. Um... But I, I think I'll just play for 45 minutes and see how this goes. I'll see how everything goes on the stream. But yeah, if you guys want to see me play video games, I do live streams mostly like at 12 a.m. through like 3 a.m. around those times. Sometimes if I'm awake and I don't want to go to sleep, I do it in the mornings. But I do my live streams in the mornings. So yeah, while I do that... um. Yeah, we're gonna see how everything turns out to be, and uh, I'm gonna wash that out and then show you guys. Okay, I'm done. And it's drying. Look, there's some dark and some light. Um, I think I have to wait till this is dry up, but I'm gonna brush my hair and go through it. It's a nice color, to be honest, but we'll see when it's dry tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it doesn't feel conditioning when I sh was showering, and it doesn't stain. This doesn't stain like, um, 
there's some that like stain when you shower and like the water turns purple when you're in the shower um this did not like took out um any of like the color I'm trying to see where it was blonde like when i did this it was like blonde my god you guys can see my <laughs> tent job mm. this little part oh okay it's a little blonde this little part is no it's just the light okay i grabbed it um Hopefully it gets even through time, but it's it's a really nice color. It just what worried me was the color of, not the color, the dryness when I was like washing my hair and um, cause you know how sometimes majority of the times they feel like conditioner and you don't even have to put conditioner. I needed to put conditioner for this because it was super, it felt super dry. I'm trying to see how it looks from here. Okay, it, look, it looks nice. The color's nice. What worried me was the smell of alcohol. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a full face of makeup and my hair dried and done. So we'll see the final results. So yeah, good night. Hey guys, so this is how my hair turned out. What do you guys think? Um, I like the color. It kind of reminds me of the punky, but more vibrant. Um, and the only thing that I do have an issue is that it didn't grab, and I think it's not the dye's fault. I think it's just because the good dye, young dye made my hair very uneven. Um, but it looks like I have highlights in a way. Um, so I'm not complaining. I think uh, it's okay, but I do give it a seven out of five. If you guys haven't seen my TikTok, how it turned out, I do give it that because of that reason that it smelled like alcohol. And I think it has like alcohol uh, ingredients in there that was making me feel weird about that. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's like a normal thing they put on all dyes. I'm not sure. It does say vegan. It does say like cruelty free and like this other perex sign free and all that stuff. But still, why when I washed it, why was it um doing this weird thing? Here, give me a sec. I have to do her milk in a weird and a it's bit cold, so I'm doing her milk warm. Um, so I'm gonna let her rest and tell you guys about everything so yeah um it just when i washed it it was dry so it wasn't feeling conditioning it also you know when you wash your hair it stains the water with this one it hardly did any of that so that just made it weird for me i don't know um it wasn't conditioning also um i don't know i think it's a good thing that uh color comes out of the stain like it stains the water and stuff um i'm not sure uh let me know if you guys know about any of that um the ingredients i don't know felt weird um <laughs> i don't know how i felt about the smell of the alcohol or like the smell of like you know like cleaning supply in the beginning of the video um but yeah, um, I'm not mad at it, but I don't think I will use this um, dye again. Um, I'm gonna have to do like a lot of research and stuff to use this brand. Um, and like just to make like more research on like dyes and all that stuff, hair dyes. Um, but yeah, I give it a 7 out of 5. Is it worth the three four dollars yes because i did spend a little bit and it came with four ounces i do prefer this one more than the good dye young when it comes to this color um no offense to anybody who loves that i'm not trying to roast on Haley williams again 
I love her. I love her music, her old music though. Um, um, and I find her an inspiring person. I love her, how she supports everything and how she is as a person. But yeah, like I think her dye would be good if you with other colors. I've seen other people have the pink one and they come out good. Orange, I think she specializes more on those tones than on the purple one. I don't know, red tones. Um, especially that uh, this purple that I had from her came more of a red tone than a bluish tone like this. Um, so yeah, I, I, I do prefer, but in my opinion, I do prefer in the purple violet section, I do prefer this one more than the Hayley Williams one. But not with the punky. The punky I really love. I always used punky my whole life. Um, and it has done good stuff. Just don't, if you want like a reddish purple, get the purple one. Violet for bluish tone purple. I learned that mistake recently. Um, if you guys see my videos. But yeah, um, it's not bad. I feel like it is gonna fade through time and it might it looks like this one might fade that Haley Williams dye but yeah it's different tones of purple or violet I guess you could say I want to call this violet but yeah you can see the tone it did have like a really strong pink and it's hard to get rid of but I do want to continue this whole year doing different dyes with purple and violets so yeah um let me know which one i should do next uh there's still iro iro ow um i don't know if i should return with splat i had issues with splat when i was in high school and it's a scary dye for me <laughs> because it ruined my hair and i don't know i know the kids or the people because now they're all adults <laughs> um they didn't really know much about hair dyeing i did not know about hair dyeing during my high school time um so whoever dyes their hair now during high school you guys are lucky because back then there wasn't a lot of videos of people dyeing their hair um and now there's like a lot of videos it's easy to get like access of how to do everything um and yeah um back then it was a mess so i couldn't do it right uh, it was splat i do want to try iro iro and lunar tides and then this other one with like cursive and it looks kind of slightly like lunar tides but it's not lunar tides it's this other one i still have to search for the name but i have it on here on my thing on my phone <laughs> so yeah um i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope uh you guys got to learn a little bit more of how this dye works. I surely did. I'm not mad at it for um, for four dollars. It's not bad. Um, three something, but it's not bad. It used to be nine dollars. Originally, this is a nine dollar uh, dye, but it's to me it's worth it. Way worth it than the good dye uh, young one. Unless she has like a violet color, I don't mind trying that violet color to see how it works, but I haven't seen any. Um, so yeah, just guys let me know which other dye I should do. And yeah, until the next time, bye!